This is my beloved mom, Teresa Zhang, who formerly went by Nga Nguyen. In 1975, she and her family were forced to leave Vietnam due to the fall of Saigon. Saigon. My uncle, Bác Nhan, was a lieutenant colonel in the Vietnam Army, and he got us all on a flight to leave. Although my mom didn't realize it at the time, she was a part of a huge operation called Operation Frequent Wind. According to CNN, it was the largest helicopter airlift in history. By the time it was over, over 7,000 at-risk American citizens and South Vietnamese were airlifted out of Saigon in under 24 hours. In hopes for a better life, they moved to the land of opportunity. America. As a Vietnamese American living in a predominantly white neighborhood, she stood out and had trouble fitting in. Our first language was Vietnamese, so when we started school, our English wasn't that great. The other thing is we didn't eat the same things as everybody else. I didn't go by the name Teresa then. I went by my Vietnamese name, which was Nga, and it was spelled N-G-A, and I remember it being so difficult to pronounce, and I got made fun of so much for my name. Ironically, while school was one of the places that she felt, felt most, most excluded, it was also the place where she felt most included. Even though we were made fun of in school, at the same time, if we worked hard and studied hard and we participated in class, we were able to show that we belonged. I think school and education is a very big deal, and I didn't believe it at the time, but it was really emphasized in our family, the importance of getting a good education in order to move to the next level. And I think it's funny because school was the safest place for us. We made sure that we had lunch yeah. and we were able to read and learn and be a part of the society. Although she struggled with this at the start, she truly believes that immigrating to America was the best decision possible. If my family had stayed in Vietnam, I don't think I would have gone to college. My parents didn't go to college. Um, their parents didn't go to college. My grandmother didn't even know how to read. So the opportunity to move to the U.S. was a great opportunity for us. I was able to go to UCLA and then on to law school and get my law degree. I worked in New York as a lawyer before having children. Uh, these, uh, these are some things that I never would have been able to do had I stayed in Vietnam. We have two great kids and a dog. We live in Hong Kong. We still consider ourselves American. We go back to the U.S. every year, two times a year. The idea that America was a land full of opportunity is what ultimately allowed her to reach goals far beyond what she thought was possible. The American dream is something very, very special. It's an opportunity for anybody, no matter where you're from, no matter what your background is, to go to America, to work hard, to get an education and raise your family and be successful. In the end, I'm very thankful that she immigrated. If it wasn't for that, then I might not be here.